it's our time. When we sit back and unwind, I don't want. Hello everyone, here I am, Storyteller, and this is Doug the Dinosaur and my favorite time of the year. Yes, it is our favorite time of the year because we love to go outside and play and be in the sunshine. Yes. I always look forward to having a hot dog on the grill and I look forward to having a snow cone. Oh, 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 you know, you know who, who, who does not love the summertime? Oh, oh, hello, Dill the Pickle. Who does not love the summertime? Me, me, I don't like the summertime. But why? Well, it seems that summer means that a lot of people love to have a pickle as a snack. Oh, so what do you do? I run off to my jar and I hang around till the fall. Oh, oh does, does this book mean that it's summertime? Uh-huh. Whoop, that's my cue. Whoa. Oh, I guess we will see him, I guess, in September. I guess we'll see Dill in September. I mean, I would run away if I was a popular snack item in the summer as well. Can't say that I blame him. Okay, let's go all around Bustle Town. Yes. Now, the really cool thing about this book, All Around Bustle Town Summer Edition, is that when I read the Spring Edition, the link is in the bio down below if you want to read the Spring one. I discovered that the All Around Bustle Town books have no words. What? You're wondering, what am I going to read? We read the pictures. And the really cool thing is I will make up my own story as I go along. And if you ever get a book like this, like the Bustle Town books or any other books that have no words in them, you too can make up your own story. Cool, huh? Here we go. All Around Bustle Town. Ooh. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this big, giant house. Three stories. Okay, okay. Let's just take it all in for a second. It's summertime. So these ladies here are having a beautiful outdoor lunch with, it looks like some fresh strawberries, but you know, are in season. The cows are happy. The birds are outside getting fresh air. Let's see, this kid's home from summer vacation. Can you see that? Just lying on the bed, chillaxing. And, and then over here, let's see, we've got, oh, and this guy's riding on his moped, and oh, the ice cream vendor is out. And then this one's on the taxi, and then this lady's jogging, and her dog's getting a workout, and this guy's like, hi, Bob. And this guy's like, hi, Meredith, how you doing? And this one's like pulling some equipment, and this one's playing on the swings, and. This house is just bustling. That's why it's called Bustle Town. It's bustling with activity and ooh, these guys decided to do a little a little fresh paint job here. Yeah, yeah, refreshing the house in the summertime. Okay. We turned the page and we're moving on through the town. Okay, so now we're moving out into the countryside. You see Yep. The chicken farm. Ooh. Fresh eggs on a farm. Wow. So let's see, this lady right here is tending to her garden, which has to be giving some delicious fruits right about now, I'm thinking, and the <coughs> are there having their delicious slop, and this guy is raking over here, and oh, look at that wind power over here, and then the factories are all, oh, those are going year round, and the tractors are bailing, looks like they're bailing some hay over here, and bike riding, back. <laughs> And what are they doing? Are they doing some sort of a lawn sporting activity that I do not know? Hey, deer. Hey, fox. Hey, storky stork. Ah. And then the garage. And then there's like a seal, but it's just a pretend seal, just like the pretend alligators toys. Oh, it's toys for the beach and floaties. And then this, this person picked up, it looks like they bought an alligator as a as a present and he's like, oh, I hope the kids like it, Sue. And she's all like, yeah, Joe, I'm pretty sure they're gonna love it. And then these kids are heading off to, it looks like, hmm, where are they heading off to? Cause it looks like she has ice skates and a yoga mat. And I don't know how those two go together. Hmm. Uh, he's got the ball. Oh, and the jogger who was over here is now over here passing this fella here and arp, the dog's passing her. Moving on. 
Okay, so now, ooh, Poseidon, the fish shop, and meow. Oh, asking the fish seller for a piece of fish from the cat. That's a very nice fish seller. And then this kid's here with his mom, and he's got a bunny balloon. How cool is that? And this guy, what is he doing all the way up here on the top of the roof? Is he fixing something inside there? Cleaning out the chimney, maybe? This guy is just hanging out at the window, looking at the bustling town of Bustleton. And let's see, the train just pulled in. So we have some, some backpackers who are getting in and out. Oh, these guys are going up the escalator here and having a little lunch. And she's like, oh, this fan is exactly what I needed. And he's like, Gilda, you look beautiful when the fan blows through your hair. And Gilda's like, I know. And I think they're going to get married next fall. So and then these ladies, this one's reading a kid time story time. And this one is, is uh, has her head on her. Uh, you know what? She's probably like, oh, I'm so hot. I'm so hot. Because it's summer. There's always somebody who's complaining about the heat. Uh, and they, these folks here, they're not complaining about the heat. They're enjoying lunch al fresco. Al fresco means outside in the fresh air. It's an Italian term. But they're having their lunch al fresco. And this kid's like, I want to jump over. And mom's like, don't even think about it. And then these two are on their first date. I think they're going to get married in the fall also. And let's see, she's running late. This one's picking up a sandwich for the road. This one's looking at his watch like, where is mom? She said she was going to pick me up. And then mom's like, where is mom anyway? Where is she, where is she coming from? Oh, she's not even here yet. Oh, look, the joggers are jogging together. And this, and the ice cream vendor, she got a customer. And oh, another, oh. A customer, this one dropped his chocolate ice cream cone. And somebody dropped their penguin toy. Oh man, just a bummer when that happens. Next page. Now we're moving on. Ooh, it seems like there's a new kindergarten coming in October. So they're building that, putting in some solar panels, putting in the windows, uh, raking the dirt to prepare to put some, some grass in there. And these guys seem to be bringing in some more supplies. And this one's trucking out some dirt. And she's checking out the ceiling up there. And this guy's working hard with his toolbox. And he's got a, a bottle of water there to help him out. And oh, 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 somebody has a car fire and just had their summer road trip ruined. That happens. Oh, stork, stork delivery. Looks like there's a baby on the way. Uh, let's see what's happening here. Oh, this is the cultural center, which is so fun to visit. Uh, where's the runners, by the way? Did they run off? Oh, look at that. The runner stopped and the dog. Woo! And the runner is stopping for refreshing ice cream. There's a nun who had been walking earlier. Do you see her holding a penguin? Oh, look at that. She'd been walking here and there was a penguin that someone had dropped. She picked it up. Now some happy child is going to get it. And this lady, though, there's Sue with her pet toy that hopefully her kids like. And then she met up with these, these walking musicians. Okay. Uh, let's see over here. Oh, back to the cultural center. Oh, more ice cream eaters. That lady is making a killing in the business today. Cultural center. And I like the, the whole knight in shiny armor, literally right there. And, but it looks like they're cleaning up inside and oh, oh, the library, you know, that's my place. The library with the books and the whoop, little Susie there. Got a little ambition with how many books you could carry. And Jane, the librarian, is like, oh, Susie, how could you? And then and then over here, Dave's like, oh, oh, did she drop the books again? Sure did, Dave. Sure did. And then up here, we have a display of more knights in shining armor. And little little Timmy here is, is touching it, which he probably is not supposed to. But I won't tell if you don't. All right. Next page. Poor fire guy. Oh no, summer storm moving in. Ooh, the lightning, the wind is picking up. It's getting dark out there. Such a classic summer storm. And let's see, oh, the wind, oh, look at that. The curtain is flying in the wind. And, and this guy, oh no, his flower pot, the wind blew it over. He tried to catch it, but it's too late, it's falling. And in the meantime, the birds are like, chirp, chirp, mom, we're hungry. And the bird's like, I'm on my way, I brought you a frog. Mmm, frog legs. And then she's closing her windows, and this one's looking up like, hmm, looks like rain. And then, oh, these guys were, well, they better gather up that picnic that they had going on. Or is that a yard sale of some kind? Because, boy, there's a weird assortment of stuff here. Here's that girl that had the, the skating, the ice skates, and the ball. 
and the mat oh she so she rolled out the mat and it looks like they're having a little yard sale situation here oh that's what they were doing where's the ice cream lady there she is there she is still selling away looks like that one is a pistachio for those of you who like nutty ice creams or for those of you who don't let's say it's mint uh, let's see balloons and the oh oh the wind blew away this mom's hat oh no my favorite hat maybe the nun will come and rescue it like she rescued the penguin and then oh the amazon guys here well it just says express shipping but i'm gonna assume it's amazon and he's bringing a big box of deliveries to the bookstore because fresh books and then over here somebody's getting their nails done oh that's a good idea okay and then over here this guy is giving information for the tourists and oh this guy looks like he got a kind of a toy a toy sailboat and meanwhile everybody start oh his balloons running off not the oh the poor penguin balloon that's been floating around all afternoon everybody I, just batten the hatches close your windows grab your flower pots and your hats and these guys well they're wet already so they can stay where they are but a big storm's coming oh and now it's raining oh oh gosh i hope my book doesn't get wet you see the rain coming down and oh here we are in the parking garage and he's like oh i was gonna go out but maybe i won't go out after all because i forgot to bring my umbrella and then she's all like it's all right because i'm just gonna go into the store over here and let's see what they sell at the store oh we've got a lot of dishware uh, and this lady has a pot, which I could swear I saw on a previous page. This is the camping equipment right here. And right here, I am loving this tent and also that telescope. And who brought a poodle inside? This lady. And she's, oh, are these some interesting costumes? And, oh, lady, we can see you. Cover up. And then she's going down the glass elevator, which is pretty cool. And look, balloons going by. This lady's out. Oh, she got caught in the rain. Oh. These guys found love in the rain. How romantic. Kissing in the rain. So not romantic is losing your umbrella when the wind turns it upside down. Whoosh, like it did for poor Janie here. Oh, no, no, no. And she's running home and she's running home. And this guy's losing his hat and she put a bag on over her head, which I have done. And these two, oh, at least they have some rain ponchos. That's helpful. Oh, and there's the nun, and she tried to catch the flying penguin balloon, but she couldn't catch it either. No one can catch that flying penguin balloon. This guy looks like he's going to pick up a couple of geese. That's an interesting decor item. Here's a guy who'd bought the, uh, the, the boat, oh, and he's also caught in the rain. Every oh, and so is the ice cream lady. Folded arms, just waiting. Nobody likes to eat ice cream in the rain. No, not really. Just gets wet and soggy really fast so we're all waiting and at least this guy's got his guitar to pass the time -la 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 -la. everybody's like please stop raining and then the guy's just like -la 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 -la. and everybody's like we'll see you at the concert or maybe not oh by the way notice that they have a back to school sale so they're buying backpacks over here does that mean the summer's almost ending almost because we're on our last page. But look at what a spectacular page it is. The storm has subsided. The sun has come out again. The, the clouds have cleared. And look, oh, a rainbow, a beautiful rainbow right over the supermarket where we can pick up some lemonade and some more fixins for a picnic. Ba la 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 picnic, which is perfect in the summertime. And here we're back. We're, oh, look, another farm. Oh, look. Look, 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 look what happened. The nun finally caught the penguin balloon. Yes, someone got the penguin balloon. Oh, I feel really good about that. I was worried about that penguin balloon just floating homelessly forever. And here we have the and we have the and we have the, I don't know what sound those things make. And oh, she's fanning herself, very fancy. And this guy's trying to catch the the, the, the bunny balloon that we saw earlier, it's caught in the tree. Maybe this guy will be able to rescue it and bring it to one of the kids here, playing in the sandbox, and look who's back. Ah, la, 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 la. Our musician friend. <gasps> and look, remember Sue with the, with the wrapped alligator? She's giving it as a present. Oh, everyone has a present. It's a birthday party at the park cafe. How fancy. <gasps> Looks like they're even serving champagne. Ooh la la. And we have, oh, that 
looks like a big chocolate cake. Can you see it? I sure can. My eyes can see chocolate cake no matter how small it is on the page. So then we have more desserts over here and oh, look at this artist in the corner. He's drawing this very scene. It's like a picture within a picture. Ah uh, yes, the Monet of Bustletown. And and here's oh, the guy with a hat. Now the now the dog has the hat and he's chasing the cat and chasing the mouse and well, good luck with that chase. Oh, and this lady, what is she does she have a giant, giant bottle of something? Maybe she's on her way to the party. Everyone's on their way to the party. Wow, this is one lucky birthday girl. She's getting some big boxes of presents. Look at these two on the seesaw. Ooh, don't fall. And these two are swinging over here. And this guy, poor guy, he still has to work, but at least he brought it out to the workbench outside. He's on the phone. He's got his laptop. But hey, look at the office under a rainbow. Not bad. And these two, oh, jump roping and the swans. Do you know swans are beautiful but incredibly aggressive birds? Keep that in mind. And let's see, we have the ducks, squirrels, and kangaroos because why not? And then that's it. Oh, and it tells us what we saw. Oh, apparently they have other names than the ones I gave them, which is totally weird, but we'll see what they named them. This is Sylvia. She took the case of the flea market. Oh, and Santosh is from India. He has something nice for Kara. Yeah, we kept seeing this fellow right here with that boat that he brought to the birthday party. Santosh was his name. I should have known that. And then Kara. Oh, Kara's the birthday girl. She invited everyone over. This girl picks good friends because boy, did they bring big presents. Irma has a day off. She needed a new dress. That's why she was at the store. Martha likes penguins. Oh, the nun was named Martha. Okay, okay. And Snowy, that was the dog. And then Theo was the guy on the Vespa. Karen, she was the ice cream lady. Karen did very, very well in the summertime. She'll have plenty of money to get her through the winter when no one wants ice cream. Well, someone wants ice cream. Probably in Florida. And see, Leo is a friend of Kara's, and there's Tom going on the mouse hunt, and Wyatt, the bookseller, was also invited to the birthday party. I bet I know what Wyatt brought a book. And that was our trip all around Bustletown. Ah, oh, nothing like a beautiful summer day in a bustling city. Oh, yes, that was a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it. And now, instead of a snow cone, uh -huh, I want ice cream. I want mint chocolate chip ice cream. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, oh, do, do pickles eat ice cream? Yup, 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 yup. I like all the green ice creams, pistachio, mint, Jug, other green flavors. Oh, 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 oh. Have you ever tried broccoli ice cream? Uh, I cannot say that I have. I can't say that I have either. Weren't you supposed to be in a jar somewhere protecting yourself in the jar witness protection plan or something? Oh, 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 oh. Is it still summertime? Yeah, it just started. Oh, whoop, that's my cue. Oh, I guess we will see him in September. I guess so, unless we start prying around the pickle jars in the kitchen. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Storytime, where we hope you have a fabulous and bustling summer. Bye.